Palestinian security prisoners in Israeli jails are calling off a planned mass hunger strike over phone privileges after reaching an agreement with prison authorities. In a Facebook post on the Palestinian Prisoners Club page outlining the details of the agreement, with Palestinian prisoners to be granted three calls a week to their families from landlines. Now, to remind you, the prisoners launched a mass hunger strike last week to protest an Israeli crackdown on illicit cell phone usage among inmates. The Israeli prisons authority said it installed the jammers to prevent phone calls from being made by through using smuggled mobile devices, saying they posed a security threat. The strike then spread to several other Israeli prisons. And we're joined in studio now by former commissioner of the Israeli prison service, Orit Adato. Orit, great to have you with us. It sounds like quite a peculiar story when we're talking about security prisoners uh, in Israeli jails that have broken an agreement with Israeli officials based on the fact that they were using illicit devices to make phones. How do these to make phone calls? How do these agreements come to pass? Well, as to my opinion, as a former commissioner of prisons during the second intifada, which dealt with thousands of uh, security inmates, or in other words, terror inmates, I'm not, I don't understand what has happened lately during the last few weeks, because hunger strike has been in the past. It's a tool that they are trying to use. But what happened this time, they just uh, announced that they are going to begin with hunger strike and all the media was on it, mm -hmm. even though they didn't even begin with that. Begin with that. And afterwards, they began, you know, few here and few there. And the reason for that is that the, the government, by the prison service, are putting jammers or blocking their mobile phone, which are forbidden to be brought into prison and right. used in prison. So how so are the, the prisoners able to negotiate with the Israeli authorities to have their demands quote-unquote seen to when they're already in jail and then using illicit devices and then using that as a tool to, to have their conditions changed? Well, I would say that that's what was striking me because it ha always has been the fact that the, it is forbidden to use mobile phone. And on the other hand, we know that they are managing somehow to smuggle them into prison. And we know that even some of their lawyers are smuggling, trying to smuggle. And even one of our parliament members has smuggled uh, a mobile phone to prison. So it is not, it is inevitable to uh, uh, avoid it because of the laws in Israel. You cannot uh, make um, a search in the body, only on the body, which is totally different from the US and other countries. So it's for the first time they have the nerve to say, because you are blocking our forbidden uh, uh, mobile phone use, we are going to make a hunger strike. But then the hunger strike works in the end because now they can make three calls a week to family members on a landline, which those are different conditions for security prisoners. They're not even able for to use landlines. For many years, for many years since ever, they didn't have an access to the landlines. I don't know what brought the government government now to decide to enable them to have an access by the landlines and it's it's um it's the the most important difference between them and the penal inmates is a direct access to the outside and a direct access to landlines is breaking that rule of having an access. I know that they will be monitored, of course, but you know something, they have all the time in the world, because they don't do anything mm -hmm. else, to uh, plan, to develop all the uh, options, how to manage to get out information, to bring out information through the landline. And of course, the Shabak and the, the prison service will do their best to monitor and to uh, identify if there is some, mm -hmm. but from time to time they mm, they, they will. But so to your mind, what's going on? Why would Israel risk its security uh, if this was really going to put the country in danger? I would say that as to my opinion, it's 
around the election that has been lately and the uh, hidden or not hidden some kind of arrangement to be done with Hamas in the Gaza Strip, not directly, of course, indirectly, by mediators here and then. That was kind of part of the whole uh, process or program, but, but, and there is a big but about that. The security from prison is on the responsibility of the prison service. If, if something will happen, and they have tried in the past, and they will try uh, in the future to operate from prison, it will be the responsibility of the prison service. I'm not sure that, it, that it, this is the right way to mm. enable you know, them uh, to have a direct access. Oh, 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 oh,